If you want to see lesbian movies on Amazon Prime, you should definitely watch your picks for the best lesbian movies on Amazon Prime right now. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 17, Heatwave. I'm a winner and I'm seeing clear world. The water's fine. A young career-driven woman seemingly has it all, a new position at a top real estate agency, a lead on an exciting project, and an enamoring new love interest. But her life takes a turn when she finds out she has fallen for her boss's wife, becoming tangled in a web of malice. Secrets are revealed and dark motives linking to her past come to light as she fights to defend herself in the sizzling thriller. Can you tell me what's going on? This morning, a cleaning woman found indications of possible foul play in Mr. Green's bedroom. Blood, signs of a struggle. I've seen her bank statements. She's been stashing cash. Did you tell Scott about us? No, someone did. You're acting paranoid. We have nothing to hide. When's the last time you heard from him? It turns out you're not exactly a stranger to law enforcement after all. Claire, this isn't safe for you. There's no place that's safe. Number 16, Les Bomb. When are we meeting the boyfriend? Soon. I don't like surprises. Surprise, I'm not a boyfriend. A multi-generational comedy of errors featuring a young woman who comes home for the holidays with some life-changing news. Little does Lauren know, the eccentric cast of characters has their stirring surprises as well. The result is a hilarious turn of events, forcing the family to come together in a ceremonious series of coincidences. As it turns out, there is no good time to drop the Les Bomb. I love you. I love you. What are you doing? I'm trying to come out. On Thanksgiving? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Austin! Okay, I understand. Oh no, Austin! You don't tell me anything Petra. anymore. I tell you Austin. things, Mom. We're not dating. You better be dating if you're sleeping with my daughter. Thanksgiving's all about things and truth and forgiveness. Mostly, oh. it's about coming home and coming out. I was clean. Oh my God! No oh way! Oh my God! Need to come out of the closet here, people. Number fifteen, Vida and Virginia. I shan't make you want me anymore by giving myself away like this. You can't think me that ruthless, can you? Vida and Virginia is a biographical romantic drama film directed by Chanya Button and stars Gemma Arterton, Elizabeth W. Keat, and Isabella Rossellini. Set against the backdrop of a 1920s London defined by political affairs and the rise of literature, we see one literary icon and one socialite spend their days in entirely different circles. But drawn together by a magnetic tension, they soon find themselves in a relationship that also marks a striking turning point in literature. Virginia is a wickedly brilliant mind. I must know her. I have the appetite to know you better. I hope you're not thinking of running off with her as well. Why do you think your books sell more than mine? Popularity was never a sign of genius. Did you meet her? I adore her! <laughs> Emotion creates a wave in the mind. When writing, that is what you must recapture, that wave. It's taken me such a long time to find the balance. These snatched moments with you are exasperating. Meet me, so we may have another. Number 14, Birds of Paradise. Birds of Paradise is a drama film, written and directed by Sarah Audina Smith, and stars Kristen Frost with Diana Silvers and Caroline Goodall. In this tale of sexual awakening rivalry and trauma everything is put at risk. Upon arriving in a prestigious school for ballet tomboyish but beautiful Kate meets mysterious Marine, who recently lost her brother to suicide. Testing each other's will and confidence they soon discover their emotional breakthrough as an intense affair begins that might lead them to greater success than ever imagined. Just because you were number one once does not mean you will be again. I will be number one. 
Who are you? I'm Kate. Anyone who partners with Felipe will be the better dancer. He's the key to the prize. Maybe you could help me. Do you always follow the rules? No. Prove it. I'm here to win the prize. They pick one girl and one boy for the contract for the Paris Opera Ballet. Light, leger. She's testing you. She's torturing me too. Number 13, The World to Come. A smile returns. Good day. <laughs> the World to Come is a drama film directed by Mona Fastfold and stars Catherine Waterston Vanessa, Kirby Christopher Abbott, and Casey Affleck. Given new life by a cast that is instantly iconic, the world to come showcases how we overcome isolation. With the power of human connection in times when we feel the most misunderstood, both plagued by their husbands to women in the 19th century, form an affection for each other that goes further than physicality, but may destroy their social status. Tuesday, January 1st, 1856. With little pride and less hope, we begin the new year. Good afternoon. I'm Tally. Abigail. I hope I'm not keeping you from something. I'm glad you've come. The meeting you has made my day. Well, how pleasant and uncommon it is to make someone's day. Do you miss me? Yes. Our farm is a slaughterhouse right now. My husband is killing his hawks. And I resolved to visit you so that there would be something in my day other than his meanness. Number 12, Cagillionaire. Cagillionaire is a crime comedy drama that is as wonderfully unpredictable as it is. Heartfelt and intentional, the unique story follows a hilariously bad petty crime family, Robert, Teresa, and they're more of an accomplice than daughter Old Dolio. When Robert and Teresa invite Melanie to join their schemes, Old Dolio is changed forever. She learned to forge before she learned to write. Well, actually, that's how she did learn to write. They are real characters, super unique. But you vouch for them, right? My favorite movies are the Ocean Eleven movies. This is exactly the kind of thing that I've been wanting. Number 11, Tell It to the Bees. No one slept in here in about 20 years. This used to be my bed. It probably won't survive being jumped on. Do I seem like the kind of person who might jump on a bed? A little. <laughs> Set in 1950s Scotland, this is the story of two women who must face a society that isn't ready or willing to accept them. Dr. Jean Markham returns to her small town to take over her father's practice. As she treats young Charlie, she will also meet his mother Lydia, who isn't making ends meet at the local factory. When they move in, the rumors start to spread, told through the eyes of Charlie and his mystical bond with bees. This is one visual feast not to miss, tell it to the bee. It's a small town, Jean. Be a man. We should have thought about what might happen. I want this. Number 10, Ammonite. You look tired. I always look tired. You look after me like your child. Ammonite is a romantic drama film, written and directed by Frances Lee, and stars Kate Winslet, Sirka Ronan, and Gemma Jones, led by a chemistry to never forget, and a tragic romance that will strike deep into your heart. Ammonite is the story of two women who, despite all social boundaries and norms in the 1840s, form an intense relationship. As they hide the truth from their husbands and friends, the women's social spheres collapse over a secret that is too fragile to see the light of day. You don't have any? A lot of questions. I might have preferred it when you were unconscious. No. Number nine, disobedience. Have you been with other women? No. Not really. Disobedience is a 2017 romantic drama film directed by Sebastian Lelio and stars Rachel Weisch. Rachel McAdams, 
and Alessandro Nivola. Intelligently written and not caring about controversy, Disobedience follows a woman returning to a community that once shunned her for her attraction to a childhood friend. But when meeting again, the two women's passion reigns in a journey of sexual discovery, loyalty, and fate. Following an astonishing performance from its lead actresses, this movie is gripping and full of thought-provoking themes. Come on, it. Is that you? I want you to give me my freedom. Number 8. Our Love Story <laughs> Our love story is a 2016 Japanese romance film directed by Hyun Julie. The movie follows the love story between two young women, Ayan and Yuriko, who meet and fall in love while working at a convenience store. As they navigate their feelings and relationship, they must also confront societal pressure and discrimination against same-sex relationships in Japan. The film explores themes of love, acceptance, and self-discovery. Number 7. Benedetta. Benedetta is a biographical drama film directed by Paul Verhoeven and stars Virginia Fira, Lambert Wilson, and Daphne Patekia. Set in the 17th century Italy, we follow a nun, Benedetta Carlini, who suffers from disturbing religious and erotic visions. While under the vigilant eye of cynical abess Balasita, she is assisted by Bartholomew, but the relationship between the two women develops into a forbidden love affair. Is there an escape from sin when the flesh is the enemy? <laughs> Un couvent n'est pas un lieu de charité, cher enfant. Pourquoi tu es là Benedetta Viens à moi J'arrive, Seigneur J'arrive On ne comprend pas toujours les instruments de Dieu. Dieu te parlera dans beaucoup de langues. C'est un signe de Dieu, un avertissement. La peste va s'abattre sur Pêche. Tu crois toujours après tout ce dont tu étais témoin? Number six, a date for Mad Mary. I don't think I'm very good at meeting people, dating, all that. You're making a show yourself. Well, what's new, Charlene? Mary! Get off your high horse or you will end up being very lonely here. A Date for Mad Mary is a drama film directed by Darren Thornton and stars Sianna Kersley and Tara Lee. People are given labels so quickly, but Mad Mary McArdle isn't settling after a brief encounter with the inside of a prison cell. She is deemed undateable when she returns to her hometown. She is willing to prove otherwise in order to attend her best friend's wedding with dignity and happiness. Do you want to go on a date sometime? What? A date. What are you on about? <laughs> You're still a mess. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I keep hurting people and I don't know why. Do you have any idea what you put is true? Say that again. Me, your ma, all of us. Any interest in going to a wedding? Number five, The Secret Diaries of Miss and Lister. I must have someone with me. And in loving and being loved, I could be happy. Are you sure it's safe? Come on, but the eyes of God. 
The lead character who we follow in this story is called Enlister, and she is a landowner as well as an industrialist, but what will make the narrative so appealing is the secret lesbian relationships which make her such a scandalous figure historically. The fact that this movie is also historically accurate and based on a real character also makes it appealing in the way some of the more fictional forays on this list cannot be. It's as if I've woken from a feverish dream. From this moment I shall, without remorse, suit my convenience. Secluded as I am, I have the means to happiness. I know Mariana's heart is mine. Number 4. Bound I had to see you. <clears throat> Look, I don't think this is a good idea. I wanted to apologize. No. Please. Bound is a 1996 neo noir crime thriller film written and directed by the Vahovsky and stars Jennifer Tilly, Gina Gershon, and Joe Pantoliano. The story follows with Gina Gershon as an ex con after having a sexual liaison with neighbor Jennifer Tilly joins forces with her to dupe gangster boyfriend Joe Pantoliano out of $2 million of laundered loot. They formulate a plan to rob millions of dollars of stash mob cash, blaming gangster Caesar for it. The two protagonists Violet and Corky prove to be breathtaking women yet smartly written humans at the same time. It's me. What happened? It was unreal. All night long I listened to that sound. You're asking me to help you fuck over the mob. Violet, these people are serious. Number three, saving face. You study work? Vivian is teaching the women. Saving Face is a 2004 romantic comedy drama film directed by Alice Wu and stars Michelle Krujic, Joan Chen, and Lin Chen. A Chinese-American lesbian and her traditionalist mother are reluctant to go public with secret loves that clash against cultural expectations. What we like about it, a heartfelt story that touches upon so many topics. Love coming out, mother-daughter relationship, the clash between Asian and American culture, community, and filial piety versus individuality and freedom. Saving Face was a rare gem for its time and even today. There hasn't been another movie quite like this. You have any interest? No. You don't like black people? I don't like black people. He doesn't like black people. No, he doesn't like black people. Then why don't you do this? Ah, you go. Number two, blue is the warmest color. Adele, a high school student, is lost in her own world, trying to figure out her identity and place in the world. She meets Emma, an art student, and the two form a deep bond that blossoms into love. As Adele begins to explore her sexuality, she struggles to come to terms with her burgeoning identity and newfound feelings. With the help of Emma, Adele learns to accept and embrace her sexuality, leading to a passionate romance. However, their relationship is tested by the pressures of society and the challenge of balancing their respective dreams. As Adele and Emma's love deepens, they must confront the difficulties of a long-term relationship and the realities of life. Number 1. Portrait of a Lady on Fire Vous serez libre. Être libre, c'est être seul. Vous ne croyez pas Portrait of a Lady on Fire is a 2019 French historical drama film written and directed by Céline Sayama and stars Nomi Merlin and Adel Henel. Portrait of a Lady on Fire is one of the most beautiful subversions of the male gaze to ever be shown on a screen. The period piece takes place in France in 1760 and follows the story of portrait painter Marianne, Noémie Merlin, and Heloise, Adel Henel, a rich noblewoman engaged to be married to a man she's never met. Marianne comes to stay with Heloise in order to secretly paint a portrait of her to be sent to her husband-to-be. What ensues is a powerful battle of wills that ultimately transforms into a fiery intimacy between the two women. As I've previously discussed, the most powerful thing about the film is Siam's ability to build a world that is almost completely free of toxic masculine energy or the male gate. We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again.
Vous voulez communier Je veux entendre de la musique. L'orgue, c'est beau, mais c'est la musique des morts. Nous portons là-bas, si le portrait lui plaît. Ça fait des années que je rêve de faire ça. Mourir Courir. Combien de temps restez-vous Je ne sais pas. Vraiment, quand vous êtes troublé, vous respirez par la bouche. J'ai un nouveau sentiment. Le regret. Quel en est le titre Portrait de la jeune fille en feu.